Well, that's four. Anyone else? What about Fiona Maxwell? <laughs> Fifi, out in the bush? Seriously? Oh, gosh. You really want me? Fee was the only person I knew under 60 who said, gosh. Well, no. But our parents said we had to bring someone along with a little bit of class. You know, to balance out all us inbred rurals. She lived in town, <laughs> but we liked um, her anyway. OK, give me a sec, I'll ask Mum. Mum, can I please go camping with the girls this weekend? Camping? Out in the bush? Seriously? Right, babe? I'm looking a bit pale. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> You look like you're gonna, you know, mm. Mm. stuck in the back of your throat, isn't it? Trying to swallow it all down. But just oh, keep coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> On your home. Uh... <laughs> I'll carry that. How much stuff do you need? Oh my god, Ellie, look at this. Wait, what is this? Makeup? What? Oh, never knew who you're going to meet. Hey, you can see Cobbler's Bay from here. You can even see the Heron Bridge. How far do you reckon we've come? That was the easy part. From here on, we walk. Ready? On the count of three. One. Give it a decent throw, sweetheart. First ones to see it. Woo! Paradise! <laughs> it's no reception. Well, what were you expecting? Broadband? Couldn't hurt. You, what's your name? Go get some firewood, will ya? It's Lee. Oh, um, Lee. Right. Ellie. Mm -hmm. What are we having for dinner? Uh, two minute noodles. Oh, great. What are they? You've never heard of Two Minute Noodles? Mm, no. My mum's really into health foods. It is an awesome feeling to realise you're about to change someone's life forever. Mm. Wait, so not one guy asked you out last year? No. Why would they? Why? You're beautiful, Fee. My mum's beautiful. I'm just... Well, you remember, I had braces for, like, two years. I still wear glasses and not... She was Miss Wear Away three years in a row. I actually asked her if I should enter this year, but she didn't really think that was a good idea. Anyway, I'm doing really well at school at the moment, so it doesn't matter. And... You know, a guy will ask me out one day. I just don't know when or who, which is exciting. Boys are idiots. Fun idiots. Woo! <laughs> ole, 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 ole. Hell out. <laughs> Woo! You shall not pass. Girls praise that must get asked that all the time. 
<laughs> Did anyone else hear those planes last night? Yeah. There was like six lots of them or something. They were flying really low. No, there were dozens and dozens. We were counting them, Lee and me. Lee and I. But seriously, what do you think those planes were doing? Because... Maybe they weren't even ours. Yeah, it's probably the start of World War Three, and we don't even know. <laughs> All right, who's having rabbit? Huh? Is there any chocolate left? Um, sadly, we're all out. Oh, look, I found some. No, it's a miracle, well, isn't it? Don't be a dickhead, homie. Give it back. Thank you. Come then. I was going to give you some. No fire, put your hands around. You best believe me, I ain't ever given up. Hey, hey. Hey, what's going on? There's a bloody snake in my sleeping bag. You sure, mate? I can't see any. <gasps> oh! Uh, okay, um, what kind of snake was it? No, I didn't look. A lot of red bellies out here. Are they deadly? No, no. Well, if they bite you. Uh, well, shake it. The bag, Beyonce. <laughs> Don't lift it too high. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to do that myself. Oh, Christ, that's a big one. Hey, you all right? Yeah. Thanks. Not sleeping in that bag again. Jesus Christ! No need to swear. Yeah, Kevin, no need to bloody swear. <laughs> Is it dead? Looks dead. Wait. <laughs> Nobody's laughing, Homer. Hey, um, Fee? Yes? Why did you go into the river? To get away from the snake, of course. You do know that snakes can swim, right? No, they can't. Uh, yeah, they can. Snakes can't swim. They don't have fins. <laughs> they slither. They slither through water. No, they don't. <laughs> what about sea snakes? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No, you guys. Oh, Fifi. Can I go home yet? <laughs> well, I am excited about a hot shower. And a pillow. Mm, a pillow would be nice. Let's do this again. Back here in the same place. The same people. If we can find it again? We'll find it again. But let's keep it quiet or everyone will start coming here and the place will be wrecked in no time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and Omar, to hell. A toast to hell. To hell. Yeah. Cheers. 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 What about wire cutters? Now that's a great idea. Two T's. The way I see it, these are our choices. One, we can sit here and do nothing, come out when the war's over. I don't know about you guys, I'm not too good at doing nothing. Two, we can all try to be heroes. Rescue our families from the showgrounds. But like Dr. Helpful said, we'd probably pay the price. Or three, we can go out there at night, guerrilla style, using hit and run tactics, and take back Wirrawee. Maybe even help win this thing. I suppose when the time comes, I'll, I'll do what I have to do. What worries me, though, is that I can't guarantee that I'm not going to pack up under pressure. I'm so scared. And I think that I might just stand there and scream. None of us know how we're going to react. 
If shit hits the fan. You've done all right so far. Well, for a townie. Waiting. Uh, did you just call him honey? Homer. I called him Homer. No, you just called him honey, you didn't? Yes, you did. I just left you. It may have sounded like honey, but I definitely said Homer. So, Princess Fifi has the hot, rough as guts, Homer. Oh. So, did you still? Would you mind if I had? What, me? Are you serious? Of course not. Well, I just know that you two are close. No, never like that. OK, good. <laughs> well, then, yes, I have. Wow. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. That's kind of gross. He's a great kisser. Great. Now I know. But he's so down on himself. He's got this weird thing about my parents being lawyers. And he always used to joke about it. But I don't think he's really joking at all. Oh, Jesus, Fee, how long did it take you to figure that out? What do you mean? Well, you know the kind of guys he knocks about with. They're just more at home hanging out at the pub than playing croquet with your parents. My parents don't play croquet. Mm -hmm. Ellie. Ellie. Fee, behind you. Homer's like two people. He's so confident with the group, and then he's super shy with me. I just don't understand. Ellie? If I can understand Homer, I'm sure I'd understand all guys. Like, Lee? No. Uh, how'd you know about that? 
Oh, come on, Ellie. Everybody knows. God, this is worse than recess. <laughs> what? They can't... They can't hear us. Ellie, you have to go now. But we're still not ready. There are soldiers creeping up behind the tanker, and Ellie's not answering me. Ellie, pick up. Just think about it. The eight of us are living out in the bush, and the entire world is completely turned upside down. I just hate to be responsible for ruining whatever little good we did have by Lee and me having a falling out. Look, Ellie, I'm no expert on relationships or anything, but I do know that you have this tendency to reason everything through all the time. And I just think the future is the future, and it has to take care of itself. And by the way, it's Lee and I. Out of the <laughs> Here goes the grand plan. Oh. 